So my name is Tarek Hamedani. I'm the CEO of Tag Middle East. Uh, we are an armored vehicle manufacturing company. Uh, we have five facilities around the world, US, Canada, uh, Germany, UAE, and Oman. So today we have our BAT UMG. It belongs in our APC family. Uh, this is a Stanag 1 level protection vehicle. This vehicle can go up to Stanag 2. Our company covers everything from the small cash and transit vehicle up to the military vehicles, Stanag 4 and Stanag 5. So this vehicle is built on the Ford F550 platform. We have smaller ones that are built on the Land Cruiser platform, and then we have independent suspensions and V-Hauls vehicles going up on that. Vehicle usually look the same. Components used are the same. What makes a difference in the way the vehicle is constructed one of the things that differentiates us is the way we do our build process, the way we do our traceability and the certifications we get. So on the uh, personal protection vehicles, uh, we supply the United Nations, NGOs and the governments, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, embassies, etc. On the APC uh, range, we also supply governments, mainly military, uh, Ministry of Interior and some MOD, Ministry of Defense. Protection level, as I said, it's Stanag 1, that's a standard. What's usually unique about vehicle's design is the front face here, the, what you see here. This does give protection to the engine bay. It has two variants, can have protection or to reduce the weight. We cannot have protection on the engine bay because what's important is, uh, of course, the passenger cabin. In this specific vehicle, uh, it can be a ride control vehicle for the Ministry of Interior, or it can just be received for transport of troops. And it has a weapon mounting system on top that can uh, take uh, different types of uh, weapon systems. The setup is either six plus two or eight plus two, depending on the, on the, on the customers. And we have different variants of it. So we have a uh, pickup variant that takes only four people. This specific one is eight plus two, so it takes up to 10 people.